Welcome back. It's your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in on this fine day. Um, today, I'm here to review a sneaker that I'm really, 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 really excited about. Um, interestingly, it's connected to my childhood. So, of course, we all have movies that were in our childhood that scared the living Jesus out of us. And for me, that movie, well, of course, there were so many. You know, there was Friday the 13th, there was It, there was The Shining, there was, um, um, there's, it's just, I can't, there's so many, I can't even list them all. But the one that scared me the most was A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, Freddy. Freddy Krueger scared the bejesus out of me. I, I couldn't. It messed up my sleep well into my high school years. I had to become literally a grown man just to stop being afraid of what was under my bed. Anyway, um, now that you know my secret, um, to add on to that, one of the shoes I had always wanted was the um, Nike Dunk Freddy Krueger. Of course, chances of getting that was pretty much absolutely nil. Um, it's first of all they were limited, and then second of all, you know, it was something that was scratched because the rumor was, you know, I don't know if it was Universal, whoever owns the rights to Freddy Krueger, I guess a cease and desist or whatever, basically said you don't have the rights to put this shoe out because of blah 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 legal 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 mumbo jumbo blah blah blah. So there's a lot of rumors about how that those got out and how they were not supposed to be out, but they never were officially sold by Nike. Anyway. The Nike Dunk Freddy Kruegers are like twenty to thirty thousand dollars today. Um, they were they were never gonna happen for me, but I'm happy. I'm happy to get anything that represents that one thing that scared the death out of me as I as I was a child. I know that sounds weird. Most people don't want to have anything to do with something that scared the holy bejesus out of them, but I do. I've always wanted something. So Vans has given me a chance. They they thought about me. They said. We are going to give you a whole host of Halloween sneakers. Now, of course, Nike is dropping several Halloween sneakers. I know they're dropping an Air Force One, a Presto, a Dunk. I think two Dunks. It's either two Air Force Ones or two two Dunks. And I know they're dropping a Presto. All of them. Oh, oh, yeah. The other Dunk is the, the one I really, really, really want is the um, the Mummy um, one. That is... Um, is a nice one. But anyway, this review is not about Nike. This review is about the Vans for the, the, the Freddy Cougar Vans. So Van, I just, Vans, I just want to thank you guys. Not only, they dropped several. They dropped several um, sneakers, uh, I believe last week. Several um, in the, the slip-ons and send in several in skate highs. Um, they dropped them, like I said, uh, uh, well, I maybe didn't say, but they dropped them for the movie It. Once again, these are all like the colorways of their movies. R ridiculous. They're ridiculous. The Shining, um, The Lost Boys, Friday the 13th. I think there was one for Gremlins. I mean, there's so many. I haven't seen a host of this many Halloween-related scary movie shoes in my life. Either way, I am holding us out. First of all, they delivered it in this beautiful, beautiful box. Um, it says House of Horrors on the front. I mean, you got the blood dripping down the side. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm way more excited than I should be about a um, scary movie sneaker. Um, either way, um, we're going to go ahead and get hurry up and get this in the light box because I am extremely, extremely excited to show you what I am excited about. I know. That's, that's ridiculous. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just happy. Vans, thank you. Um, I don't know if these are still available on your website. I don't know. I think actually I went back to look at my size because I was going to buy like two pairs in my size and they were sold out in my size and a couple sizes surrounding it. So either way, um, if this is a shoe after you see the review that you're going to want, you may want to hurry because the last time I looked, sizes were selling out. Either way, we're going to go ahead and take a closer look of this sneaker, the um, Vans Freddy Krueger or Vans Friday the 13th in the light box. So see you over there. So into the light box as promised, and we have the Vans Nightmare on Elm Street in Skate High. So, does it compare to the Nike Dunk Freddy Krueger? Absolutely not. But for a person who was scared to death of the movie, but loves the movie, but scared to death, you know, I'm pretty, I'm conflicted with myself. This is a shoe I've wanted. I've always wanted the other one. But the fact is, I wanted something that represented the movie that I could put on my feet and I finally have it. 
So it's built like any other skate high. You know, you have the outsole, which is, you know, has that rubber, which is basically made of the same rubber. You got this leather right here on the vans. The vans, I'm not going to call it a swoosh. The vans, um, whatever we call that. Got the nice leather right here on the insides of the shoe. And I'm flying too fast. I'm really excited about this shoe. I'm sorry. I, I've, I've never thought I would have anything, I guess, remotely Freddy Krueger or Nightmare related when as it comes to a sneaker. So I just I just need to relax a bit. Um, either way, you can see the colorway of um, Freddy Krueger's sweat, sweater here. It's got that, that greenish tinge here and then, you know, that kind of rough red. All the beautiful staining that you have right here. As if assuming some, assuming Freddy Krueger actually murdered somebody in these shoes, you know, hypothetically, oh, not hypothetically, fictionally, because it's not real, guys. We're not talking about real murder. We're talking about movie murder. Either way, um, if you get a slow look at the shoe, you can see the how you see these little rough patches here. Um, overall, I really, 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 really like this shoe. Um, God. Um, Soon as I saw it online, I knew it was the only one I want. I didn't care about the shining, it, um, what gremlins. There was, there's more that I'm missing. I didn't care about any of them. This is the one I wanted, but there was, there's only one true thing I'm disappointed about, and and you guys gotta know. So when you see parts like this right here, this this right there, and this right here, the the what I'm disappointed is is that it's a screen print. It's not actually. It's not actually like rubbed out, you know, I would have preferred it to be kind of like almost, you know, pulled apart there, almost ripped, almost like, you know, Freddie was running through the bushes and some snagged his shoe and it was a, like not a rip per se, but you know what I'm saying? Kind of the thread pulled apart, but it's not that way. It's actually just a screen print of a roughed up shoe. I feel like Vance could have, could have went the extra mile by kind of making that part and kind of almost peeled apart there um fortunately they did go the little bit of the extra mile with the the blood splatters because you can actually feel those they're not screen printed in they're actually you can feel them over the tops of the leather and the canvas and the rubber on the um on the outsole slash midsole um that to me is the only thing this shoe they could have they could have done to make this shoe even more perfect just kind of giving that that rough hue if you ask oh and and Vans, you know, I, if y'all are listening, one other thing, I'll just throw this in. You know, sometimes shoes come with, uh, what do you call it, like paraphernalia. If we can start getting some hang tags, not not like this right here, not this right here. But when I, when I say hang tags, like, like, you know how, you know, you get a Jordan or a Nike and sometimes it has a nice little plastic, like real nice hang tag. You know, it would have been nice to have a hang tag with like the Freddy Krueger hands and they could have been the knives, but of course they would have been like plastic so nobody got hurt. I mean, could you imagine a hang tag like that on this? They would have made this shoe so, so much more fire. Irregardless, this shoe is fire. Um, but I just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's an improvement that I would have liked to see. Um, one thing too, also, that's hard to see if I, you know, of course, if I don't show is right here on the shoestrings, let's see, right there on the shoestrings, you actually have the blood splatter pattern in the shoestrings, um, for added, added effect inside, you know, inside the, um, on the insole, actually, this is like really soft right here, but on the insole right here, you can see that you have, this is written out, A Nightmare on Elm Street and Vans. So it only makes me wonder what the other shoes look like. Um, I, I, I think it didn't take much to make this shoe pop. You know, the shoe was self-explanatory. You look at it, you realize, oh, that's, I mean, as soon as you see it, it's it's not like, it's not like, I forgot what it was. I know um, Nike released that, I think it was last, last um, October. They released, I don't know if it was an Air Max or whatever it was. Um, and it was, it was considered to be a Freddy Krueger related shoe. The colorway was slightly related. It wasn't, of course, it didn't bring out the same feels of that Nike Dunk Freddy Krueger. But this right here, definitely, um, if you're looking for your Constellation prize, for me, this does it. So I just want to thank you, Vans. Um, also want to thank, uh, let's see, here we go. 
New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers for allowing this to happen because without you guys agreeing to it, we couldn't have had this. Like you guys did not agree with uh, Nike when they dropped their Freddy Krueger dunk or didn't drop it because they couldn't drop it. Anyway, I think you guys get the picture of what this shoe is and what it represents. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If there were other ones of the movies that you heard me mention that you think you're interested in, you want to go to that Van site and see if they have the other movies, sneakers, in your size. Once again, uh, they've had several different styles, and not only just the skate high, but they also have them in their slip-ons as well. But this one is the one that caught my eye. So, um, anyway, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. But most of all, guys, if you can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell, that will be much appreciated. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in once more. Mr. Gray out.